Let me tell you, bro, this last week has been quite the week. My clothing brand Edge just launched our new line, and it was a disaster. It was a nightmare. It feels like every little thing that could have gone wrong went wrong. And I, I guess that's how life is, right? One moment, everything is going according to your plan. You feel so happy and confident. And then the next moment, it feels like your entire world is falling apart. So, I know I told y'all in Monday's video that I'm trying to eat out less, but y'all gotta realize when I'm filming, it just gets so stressful to make sure I'm gonna have enough time to get all the content done. And getting dinner, getting eaten out, like it saves a lot of time. It sounds, it kinda sounds like I'm explaining myself to y'all, huh? You know what? I wanted to get some breakfast tacos, so I got some breakfast tacos. And let me tell y'all, these look absolutely amazing. So check it out. The way that my clothing brand works is I have a couple suppliers or manufacturers overseas and when I design a new item, I'll tell them, for example, I want you to send me a thousand units of that t-shirt and they'll ship it to the United States. Now for the first three launches, I had them ship it directly to my apartment where we personally packed and shipped every single order all by ourselves. Now, don't get me wrong, that was a super exciting time and we learned a lot of valuable lessons about the business, but we also realized if we wanna grow this business a lot bigger, we need to find somebody else to do this for us because we can't fit that much stock in our apartment. And at the same time, we can't even like leave and travel because there's no one to ship the orders out. And that's when we found this massive warehouse in Kentucky that manages the inventory for a bunch of different brands and they've done the last two launches for us. And honestly, from the moment we got started, the communication with them was pretty difficult and they made a lot of little mistakes here and there like mixing up the or the items in somebody's order but we told ourselves for the most part they're doing a good job they're making our lives so much easier but then uh something bad happened so our most recent launch went live last monday the orders started pouring in and we thought everything was going perfectly then four days later on thursday the warehouse reaches out to us and says we've lost or misplaced two cartons of pink hoodies size medium and you have to realize, bro, by this point in time, all the pink hoodies that we thought we had in stock had sold out. So now we have 50 or 60 customers whose orders have not shipped in four days. We don't even know if we have the items in their order to send them, which is a nightmare. Plus, we've probably lost thousands of dollars of inventory, and we've definitely lost all confidence in this warehouse. It's just a fucking nightmare. The funny thing is that things like this happen all the time in life, right? You're dating a girl, you think things are going well, then she unexpectedly dumps you. Like, I know that pain. I was playing basketball with my bros one time, I broke my ankle and I had to sit in bed for like four months. It was so depressing, man. But the question is, when life hits you with these punches, how do you respond? Still in the streets, fuck the law, fuck the truck, I'm in the car, baby, have you ever seen a shit in the car? Only play the like a guitar, I had to keep my distance, you ain't getting far. I know y'all are wondering, David, what is this fire outfit that you're wearing right now? So let me tell you, down at the bottom we have Adidas NMD R1, these are a classic. These are the new elevated joggers from Edge in the gray color. This is a prototype pink Edge hoodie. And no bro, I did not take one of the missing hoodies. Even though I bet you, if we went to that warehouse in Kentucky, all the warehouse workers would be cruising around on their forklifts wearing those lost pink edge hoodies. Alpha Lee dad hat. I'm trying out one of these crossbody shoulder bags, a little bit something different. And this right here, this is a brand new watch from Vincero. It's called The Vessel. And dude, I'm obsessed with this watch because it has the same look as a classic dive watch. It's simple and bold. I like the silicone strap. It's a little different than a lot of the metal straps I have. And if you take a closer look at the watch, it's just, it's hefty, it's big, it makes you feel like a boss, and it's gonna get noticed. And because it's made by Vincero, you already know that you're getting the same construction as a luxury level watch that would cost 10 times the price. It's made from surgical grade stainless steel, it has a rotating bezel, it's 200 meters water resistant. 
But because Vincero cuts out the middleman and they sell directly to the consumer, they're able to offer these at a crazy affordable price. So man, if you're serious about upgrading your style and taking your overall look to the next level, I highly recommend taking a look at Vincero watches. Adding a watch to your outfit, it's so simple and easy, but it has such a big impact. And because you're watching this video, they're hooking up my subscribers with a secret coupon code. If you click the first link in the description, it's gonna show you all of the different watches that I personally own on their website. So just rolled up to the barber shop and lately I've been thinking like my hair is kind of long, it's kind of hard to style it. Like maybe just like, you know, Damn, bro, I feel like I feel like 10 pounds lighter after that haircut. I, I think we need to go to the gym and gain that weight back. David, you don't gain weight by going to the gym. You gain weight by eating more. Shut up, bro. All right, Julia, you ready for this? Yeah. Beast Nation, are you ready for the big reveal? I haven't seen it yet. And keep in mind, I've had the hood on since I got a cut, so it's probably a little bit mushed up. Ready, three, two, one. Oh my god. What do you think? What do you guys think? <laughs> Julia doesn't like it. No, I like it. It's so different. I have never seen you without hair. Yo, is that is that out of beast? I no, I like it. I really like it. So I think when you have like the longer, longer hair, when you have it done perfectly, it looks really good. Yeah. But it takes like 20 or 30 minutes to get it done. I just end up wearing a hat all the time. Well, I think you also have curly hair, so that makes it a lot harder. People that have like naturally straight hair can just style it and it looks so good. But this guy has like a crazy afro. But this is 60 seconds, boom, done. But you, it's still stylish. Like it's still cut with the style. Of course. So once we realized this massive mistake the warehouse made, we were straight pissed off for like 24 hours. All we were doing was talking shit about the warehouse. But when shit like this happens in life, eventually you have to take a breath and look over your left shoulder. Not to Julia, but to my man, Marcus Aurelius. What do you say? My favorite quote from him is, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. We don't have power over the outside event of the warehouse fucking up, but we do have control over our minds and how we choose to respond to this. The most important part was taking care of the customers. So we immediately sent everybody an email whose order was messed up and said, look, it's not acceptable. Your order is not shipped yet. And that's not the brand we want to be. And we're so sorry this happened. Exactly. We're going to keep you updated as soon as we hear back from the warehouse. And in the meantime, here's a coupon code you can use on the next launch to save some money. And after that came the hard part, like sending an email is easy. But how do we change Edge so this doesn't happen again? Do we need to find a new warehouse? How do we make sure the next warehouse isn't going to make the same mistake? How do we get all the inventory we have in our old warehouse into the new warehouse? It's just a shit show. And this is when I honestly looked at Julie and I said, is Edge even worth it anymore? Is it worth all these headaches? It makes us less money than my online courses make us or my sponsorships make us. It takes a lot more work and we're investing so thousands time. and thousands of dollars into every launch and so much time. So Julia told me that this spot right here Bar Peach has the best hamburger in the entire world. Hands down. I am very skeptical. It has like an amazing sauce. 
Uh, I doubt that it's gonna be as good as my Goico Grill Kevin Bacon Burger back in Spain. So I went with the same thing I got last time. It's called the Kevin Bacon and it has like bacon and cheese baked into the ground beef like before they grill it. Cheers, yoga and chill and gainer shake. This is a very hazy gainer shake. My favorite type of gainer shake. Really good. Yo, what did you order? This is fried kale. You gotta try it. This doesn't sound very good. I mean, I feel like you fry anything that's gonna taste good. To me, this is kale with all the nutritional value removed from it. Yeah. Six out of ten. No, guys, he's eating it. He likes it. It's more like nine out of ten. All right, so the burger is here. First things first. Take off these cucumbers. Second things, you gotta give it the, the good old middle, down the middle cut. Third, let's take a look at the inside. It looks, it looks all right, it looks all right. So it's a good burger. I'd give it like seven out of 10. Honestly, I'm not sure how you think this is the best burger ever. I think it is, so I don't care. So as soon as I started doubting whether or not we should keep doing Edge, like it very quickly became obvious to me that I do want to do it. It's super important to me. It's my baby. It's our baby. And I just have a passion now for creating clothing that looks dope. I already think the quality of our clothing, it rivals the best clothing out there. I think we can make such an impact that like I'm nowhere near ready to give up yet. Yeah, we've worked too hard to grow this brand. We're not done. So again, we had to focus on what we could control. And I spent two or three days researching a bunch of different warehouse options. I spoke to three or four of them on the telephone. And finally, we found one that we're confident can do a good job. It's not a massive warehouse that handles thousands of brands. It's a lot smaller. It has a lot more personal touch. Hopefully, they don't lose our shit. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> but it is going to be significantly more expensive. But at this point, that's okay. It's going to hurt our profit margins a little bit. That's okay because I've realized that order fulfillment is such a crucial part of our business. It's worth spending money on it because if we don't, we're never going to be able to grow the brand. Now, the biggest challenge for this transition is going to be how do we move all the old stock to the new warehouse? And we came to a solution that I think y'all are going to like. On Black Friday, we are going to mark the Massive. prices, crazy low prices, to make sure that all the, the loose ends we have in the old warehouse sell out completely so we can just start fresh with the new warehouse for next launch. So y'all are going to want to stay tuned because we honestly, we might put this sale live a couple days before Black Friday. And you don't want to miss it. Ready? Watch this. Already dry. So nice. That's what I call short hair life gains. Anyway, bro, the main thing I want you to take away from this video is when something goes unexpectedly wrong in your life, remind yourself you have control over how you respond next. So if your girlfriend dumps you, it's gonna be painful. Part of you is just gonna wanna give up the same way I was thinking about giving up with Edge. But remind yourself, I have control over what I do next. I don't have control over the fact she dumped me. That's already done, that's in the past. But what can I do? Well, I can decide to go to the gym every day. When I have free time, I can avoid isolating myself. I can hang out with my bros and maybe I can start doing some of the hobbies I gave up when I started dating her. Because ultimately, how you respond to your, this is what separates weak-minded people who don't make it far in life versus strong people who are resilient and who ultimately succeed in life no matter like no matter what challenges they face that all being said it's time for me and brother man to have a little night together uh, i guess julia i guess you can join us we're about to watch the finale of jack ryan on amazon dope show highly recommended if you made it to the end of this video i appreciate you give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel what are you doing man click subscribe and turn notifications on because i drop two new videos every single week. They are all dope as hell. I will talk to all of y'all in the next video. Stay beastly.